So once again, we have a, a meeting, and I do what I want. I do opposite of everything I said that we're gonna do. So we're gonna switch it out. Hey guys, it's Chris back with another episode of Tea Talk and today I'm going to be doing the gender tag. Um, it's a tag that I found from another YouTuber, Ashley Wild, and I will link all that information about the gender tag project and her channel in the, in the below. I'll do it below. Uh, let's see. So there's 10 questions. The first question is how do you self-identify your gender and what does that definition mean to you? I identify as a trans man and what that means for me is that I was born a biological female and I have never connected with that definition of what a female is in American society so I'm a trans man and as that <laughs> evolves I will keep you guys posted but that's what I'm gonna go with now uh, what pronouns honor you pronouns aren't a real important thing to me currently as I'm pre-T but I'm sure once I'm on T it'll be more prevalent so what's gonna honor me would be he and him his and whatever masculine pronouns there are describe the style of clothing that you most often wear cheap I would <laughs> describe it as cheap cheap clothing uh, but more masculine comfortable um, not sloppy and then sometimes, you know, my wife says that I dress like a hot dad, so there's that. Talk about your choices with body hair. How do you style your hair? Do you have facial hair? What do you choose to shave or choose not to shave? Um, body hair. How, how do I style my hair? Um, as you can see, I usually keep my hair. I get a skin fade. I had an unfortunate event uh, going to the salons when I did have hair trying to present more feminine so they, they burnt my hair follicles so the sides won't grow so I'm stuck with a, a skin fade forever uh, I hope that's what they mean uh, do you have facial hair I have one chin hair uh, if I get facial hair I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about it so we'll just take the journey and see how it goes uh, what do you choose to shave or choose not to shave I choose to shave everything um, off my body I don't really particularly like body hair I get real sweaty and I stink uh, but lately I haven't been shaving my legs because it's a it's a lot of effort the water gets on my nose it's it's a dangerous time in that shower alright uh, talk about cosmetics do you choose to wear makeup do you paint your nails what types of soaps and perfumes do you wear if any uh, I do not choose to wear makeup I I had a brief stint when I was in college uh, trying to fit in with my sorority, uh, but no, I, I, I never felt comfortable applying or the concept of makeup. I didn't understand it. Do you paint your nails? Uh, my older daughter, she paints my nails. She calls them, she likes to paint my feet nails. <laughs> that's what she calls them. And uh, she paints my hand nails, but that's not something that I particularly like need to do. Or anything like that. What types of soaps and perfumes do you use? I use unscented Dove soap. Uh, it could be in the pump form or the bar form, no big deal. It doesn't matter. I'm personal on that point. And I wear men's cologne. Currently, I'm wearing what is it? It's Kenneth Cole or Calvin Klein Euphoria. I think that's what I'm wearing now. But usually, it's Dolce and Gabbana. Just men's cologne. Anything that smells good. Have you experienced being misgendered? If so, how often? I'm misgendered every day. Uh, ever since I cut my hair, even before then I was misgendered um, as male, and now it's just fitting. So now it doesn't it doesn't really uh, matter too much, but it happens daily. Do you experience dysphoria? How does that affect you? I experience dysphoria every day. Um, it affects me. The closer I get to my my tea date, uh, I'm just really, really uncomfortable in this body, this voice. Uh, how does it affect you? It just makes me uncomfortable, and it makes me frustrated at times because it just feels in my brain. It feels like I shouldn't have certain things that I have. Uh, 
talk about children. Are you interested in having children? Would you want to carry a child if there were an option for you? Do you want to be the primary take care, caretaker of any children you may have? I have two stepchildren and one, one child I have with my wife through IVF. Um, I never wanted to carry a child. Uh, currently, I'm unable to carry any children. And I am the primary caretaker for um, the children's the, the children's the children that we do have in our household so I love that talk about money is it important to you to provide for a for a family financially if you choose to have one is it important to you to earn more than your partner you may have do you prefer to pay for things like dates are you uncomfortable when others pay for you or offer to pay for you um Yes, it is important that I provide for my family. I was uh, raised by my father that I was going to be the head of my household, so I always knew that being financially stable was going to be important in my household. It's always something that's been important to me. Is it important that I earn more? No, not really. That's not really a factor. I think that my wife is more concerned of me doing something that provides for my family and it's something that I'm passionate and I enjoy. I think that's more important than the actual money. Uh, do I prefer to pay for things like dates? I do, but now that <laughs> I'm older and wiser, I know that when money's tight, I can't pay and I'm more comfortable with that. But it did take me a few years of realizing that, you know, I can't put myself in a deficit just to prove a point or be more manly or, it's just stupid. It's it's irresponsible is what it is. Are you uncomfortable when others pay for you? Um No. It doesn't make me uncomfortable. No, that does not make I I am not uncomfortable. A free meal is okay with me. It took me a while to get to that point, like I said, but a free meal is okay for me. Uh, and the last question, anything else you want to share about your experience with gender? Anything else you want to share about your experience with gender? Gender is, is just, it's interesting. It's interesting to see the different manifestations and representations of gender, and I'm glad that uh, the younger generation, I guess, is is more um, outwardly expressing that, and it's different forms and variations, and I love seeing that, and I wish that was something that I grew up seeing. Um, so just watching the new expressions of gender and how you don't have to be in a box, that's, that's what I love. That's what I love seeing, and that's what I love being a part of, and hopefully, you know, you guys watching my journey through this transition you guys will, you know, just have your eyes open to a new experience and, and hopefully you can just pass it along, pay it forward. So that's the gender tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I did have a topic plan, but of course I always go rogue once I hit record. So um, I think this would be my last video before the big day, the big tee shot. So. You guys keep posted, and uh, I'll hit you guys back next week. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.